it became quite a treat that I was able to see the grandson, the great-grandson, and the great-great-grandson to Johnny Kilburn. So I realized that for depicting um, Johnny Kilburn at different ages, that I have models for it. So I did photograph members of the family. I did photograph the grandson and the great-great-grandson. The faces of the family are incredible how similar they look. The little boy Patrick, who I photographed, is just so incredibly similar looking to the one single photograph I've managed to find of Johnny Kilburn as a boy. And it was a real treat to see how similar he is and to to actually get to know Johnny Kilburn by sculpting his great-great-grandson and his grandson. I'm, so I've started by sculpting the two faces of the, the living descendants, and by sculpting them, I'm getting to know better what Johnny Kilburn himself looked like, because you come across these little things as you're working and you think, aha, so that's how his forehead was. That's how, how his ear was. That, that, that it's amazing how those little traces are still there. With the boy here, a few days ago, I found that the head was, in my opinion, a bit too small. And so I had to go back and make the head all over again which sets you back a couple of days. There's sleepless nights which go into these decisions because it's too late when you've got a certain distance on the job to say, oh, I wish it was, I wish it was one inch bigger or one inch smaller. You can't change it at that stage. So you have, to, you have to stress over it. You have to lie awake at night thinking about it in order to get it right at the beginning. All the foundations of the work have to be right before I start. I haven't uh, taken the head of an older figure and sort of dropped the years from it to see if I can find the 25-year-old in him. But we'll see what happens. If and when I find the face, I'll be pouring molten rubber over it to make a mould from it and then I'll turn it to wax like I have done with the other two heads. I can see him coming there, but he's got a very long way to go. The bronze casting process is sensitive enough that it will pick up a fingerprint so every part of this has to be done with great care not to sort of mess up a little bit of the texture while cutting or pushing on it my grandmother would hate me for using her silver knives in this way but it's the best use i found for them Mainly because the steel on the blades is so much better than you'd find on any knife you bought today. So I've used these knives for 30 years now. The belt which he always seemed to wear, rather like a judo belt, you can actually take bits of material and dip them in wax and then the material burns out as easy as anything, very nicely in fact. Uh, so, you know, I don't quite want my wife to know about this, but it's something I found in her yoga studio and I think she's been looking for it ever since. But um, there it is on Johnny. <laughs>